guys and welcome back to another episode of sim city build it update with my city harbor hills yes yes i'm a little bit behind today because mm -hmm. i have company in town and we've been just trying to enjoy the sights and the sounds and the whatever of my little area and um i don't even know where my bluetooth speaker is at so because of that Use speed up tokens in your commercial buildings. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get this one. Ooh, it won't let me grab it. Why is that? Um, okay, can I get this one? Nope, I cannot. For some reason, I'm not able to get my speed up tokens. But either way, welcome back <laughs> to another quick update. Um, unfortunately, I did not do as much as I wanted to do last week because I do have company in town. So I was able to... Um, just kind of do a couple things here and there. I did add another little residential area, which also required me add another fire department. And currently I'm waiting on getting some materials to upgrade and build and do all that type of stuff. I see this one's ready for an upgrade, but I'm probably going to wait on it for a second. And then I spent so much money. It was ridiculous on little things, just the fire department, um, putting more wind, um, well, more electricity down, more water, just whatever. So because of that, I went from like being a hundred in the hundred thousands <laughs> as far as money for my town to now I'm at 40,000. So yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm constant. I'm going to be currently just kind of, I don't know why I can't get my speed up tokens. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm probably going to spend the next couple, maybe this week, uh, just kind of getting back on track. You have to take your time with stuff like this. I mean, yeah, I can go in and just start throwing a bunch of residentials and stuff, but they need they have needs that need to be met. And, um, you know, so it's kind of hard to uh, to just kind of go in and just go crazy. And then it got to the point, too, where I was buying a lot of things from the the um, the global trade because I needed things in order to um, expand or because I needed things for the contest of mayors and the contest of mayors. Oh my God. I started off strong. The day it said it started, I went immediately in, started um, working on projects and things of that nature. And it was just so hard. Sorry about that. I was trying to say it was so hard though, because um, eventually I started off so strong and I always kind of like wait and get my taxes just in case there's an assignment that requires you make like a bunch of, um, you know, money all of a sudden really quickly. But either way, I obviously didn't get, I got 63 place this time, which means I didn't even get a prize at all. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, see the highest was, well, the, to get to the small price, you needed 34,000. Um, but the highest was 45 which apparently is a city that's an IP address. I don't know what that's about. But either way, so I am currently now in the city league. So I'm still in the city league, so that's good. I didn't get like demoted or anything like that. But it got to the point where, and this is what I've learned during the contest of mayors, I try to do assignments that make sense. Like if one of them is to make... Okay, I have him chiming in with me. <laughs> but if one of them is to make corn, and then one of them is also to make crystals, I'll make the crystals, and then I'll use the crystals to make the corn. So I kind of try to do everything in succession, if that makes any sense. And then I try to make all of my, like I'll queue all of my factories up to do whatever assignment it is. And then um, I won't start the assignment or the, the contest until all of them are done. So like if you do crystals, I'll have all the factories lined up with crystals, sorry. And then um, right when they are done, before I collect them, I'll start the contest. And so this particular one, I think I was five away from having the crystals done. And unfortunately, by the time I got back, it was a couple hours that passed and I forgot that I was even participating in the contest of mayors. Being that I missed... I, I end up missing it and it was like a 12 maybe 1500 point contest and so from that point on it just went downhill I was just kind of like what's the point <laughs> you know? and then I was so busy trying to make money for the town and also add more residentials because I really wanted to have unlocked Tokyo at this point and I know I said last week I was going to unlock it this week and I didn't get close to it at all I think I have like 9,000 more sims that I need to have or people population wise uh, get Tokyo because you need 260 so I think this week I'll probably participate oh I got a key I needed keys thank you um, I'll probably participate just enough 
to stay active because I think if you don't, like if you don't do anything, it might demote me down. I don't know. I might do like one or two contests just to stay active. But I'm not going to focus so much on contests and mayors every week when I do these updates because, like I said, I need to focus on getting the town up and running. I want to unlock yeah. more of these city areas and I also need to add, I want to do more beach because that was one thing that I definitely wanted to focus on is adding some more beach and then of course eventually adding some more mountain. So, um, oh, and one thing that I did get that I wanted to do on camera with you guys is I finally collected a million dollars, a million simoleons in taxes and I thought that was really cool because I don't even know what episode we're on but I've been playing it for a couple months well, maybe not. Well, yeah, a couple months, I guess. Well, maybe two months. I don't remember. But anyway, to say that I collected a million dollars so far. Yee! So with that, I get 30 sim cash, which is so cool. So I'm currently at 433 sim cash, which I think is pretty cool. And um, oh, I must have got some money. 54. I don't know how I got 50. Oh, from taxes. Okay. So now I'm at 54,000 simoleons for the town. And I'm just going to do a couple little upgrades here oh and with that as well as you could tell i did unlock another level i am at 25 and now uh -huh. i added um, uh -huh. because i'm at level 25 i added a fast food restaurant which is uh -huh. right here the only thing i can make is um, ice cream sandwiches right now and then now i can also do gambling but the gambling uh, i mean it will add well it's seventy thousand, so i don't even have enough money for it but if i was to do it it would add depending upon where I put it, of course, it could add a substantial amount of people to my town, but I don't even know where I could put it where it'll make sense. I almost feel like I'll have to move some things around because look, when I put it smack in the middle of my city, I get like 4,000, roughly 4,000. Just don't know where I could put it at. Where I can get some, some, good, some good people here. But if I can put it like smack in the middle, I'll have like about 4,000. New. Oh gosh, well, that kind of sucks. So yeah, so honestly, there's like really nowhere I could really put it. But I don't have the money anyway. So maybe I will work on that as well. Um, and maybe next time you see us guys, we'll finally... We'll, we'll fi see the town rather we'll finally have uh some gambling i mean you know i know it'll bring honestly i don't know what's the benefit of having gambling besides population it'll be yeah it'll increase happiness and boost population but it won't do too much i guess overall it will eventually trickle down for the taxes because you'll have more people in town but um it'd be nice if we could actually collect some more money from the businesses like taxes too but currently right now you can't. I don't know of any way there is to do that. Anyway, and then we did have a major update, which I'm looking forward to. Um, I think it was, I think it was like last Tuesday or thing like that. Or something like that. But it's called the Cities of Tomorrow. So we'll be able to add that on eventually, which makes our town even larger. But you have to have a 30, a level 30. So I do have a neighbor. As a matter of fact, I added some more neighbors. I have St. Paul's as my new neighbor. And of course, Conch Beach and No Remad were from last week. But I know for a fact, No Remad has, um, if I remember correctly, has one of those cities here. And it's right here. And it's so cool because it actually has like um, a shuttle that comes up and down. So I don't know if it takes you to outer space. You see the shuttle right there? It's really pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to that. I got quite a bit before I get to that level. I think I'm at 24. So I got six more levels before I even get to that. But um, it just looks kind of cool. Like, I don't know if it'll be like more things that you load up and send off somewhere. Like if it's more like a trade situation. But let me see what they got for sale really quickly. I kind of don't need either one of those. But it's pretty cool that if I needed them, I'll know where to go. Because <laughs> you need those in order to unlock more mountain regions. So anyway it's gonna like i said it's gonna be a quick update today sorry that not much has been going on like i said i um since i have family in town i do need to figure out why i can't um use speed up tokens in your commercial buildings i know so why can't i grab those am i at max already maybe you could only have five i'm not sure i'm not sure what that's about maybe they're trying to say i can only have five which kind of sucks um but if that's the case, I have some that are waiting, apparently. And um, I guess I'll do that. Sure, why not? But uh, I do. I am ready to do another building right here. But oh, I'll probably wait on that 
So I don't know. Like I said, I just feel like I just want to continue growing my town so I can get to 260 and eventually have um, the Tokyo, which was another disappointing thing about the contest of mayors. I think I'm already supposed to have already unlocked Tokyo, if that makes any sense, because when a lot of the assignments required either upgrading Tokyo houses or doing um, doing deliveries to Tokyo. And I don't have Tokyo. And when you do. Con oh, I could do this, though. When you do contest the mayors a lot of times, well, what they say is that they put you with other people that are in your same level or your same, you know, realm. So that way you're competing with, you know, people that are very similar to you in that aspect. And um, being that I haven't had Tokyo, but they clearly had a ton of Tokyo opportunities, makes me feel like I should probably be there at this point. And I'm not. And so I guess I could work on... Um, getting some more stuff I need some seeds I need seeds and I also need <laughs> what are you doing with your life son he's over here just making all sorts of noise and I also need to figure out what to do about my storage because I'm constantly full which makes doing the contest of mayors even more difficult because when you have to make like 60 items of something and I only have like a space of 10 it's very um nerve-wracking to say the least let's just put it that way because it's like I really need to be able to just put things up and do as I need to do without the issues and sometimes I just got the issues I need to make bread do I have what I need to do to make bread nope I don't have what I need to do to make bread I don't have what I need to make <laughs> I don't have anything that I need where's my farm here's my farm okay so at least I can make some of those so I will definitely, you know what I should have checked though, which I never, I always forget to do. Like I always say I need to do it, but I forget to do it. See, I'm, okay, so I got seven hours. Okay, good. I got plenty enough time because I do need this teapot in order to <laughs> sit right here, baby boy. I need this teapot in order to um, upgrade. Yeah, I see like this London building. I need a teapot. I need a teapot for that one too. And I need two teapots for that. So I definitely need to, because it got to the point where I was slacking on these because I just didn't have the time. And that's another thing about the contest of mayors. When you don't have the time because you're doing trying to do deliveries or you're trying to upgrade houses or you're doing, um, you know, the Vu Tower stuff. It's like I just I just did not have time. So um, but I do definitely need to do work on this stuff so that way I can have what I need. Yeah. OK, he's doing the like you're talking too much. You know, how you take your hands and you're like, blah, blah, blah. You're talking too much. All right. So I think I'm going to be OK. I have enough. I need two of the, oh, so I need more of those. Definitely need more of those. So I need to definitely queue up some more seeds here. And we need two. Yeah, you need two of, the, two of those per bread. You need two to one cream. And I already have one cream and I'm making another one. And then I'll have, okay, so good. So I'll be okay in that aspect. And then I think I just need one watermelon. Wait, one wrong thing. One thing. I need one watermelon, which means, and see, it's so hard because I need to make a shovel in order to make the little sprout thingy, which will in turn make the watermelon. You see what I'm saying? And then I still need more seeds. So let's queue up some more seeds just in case. And I think in that situation. Yep, I think I'll be good to go. So I'll probably end this part here. Like I said, it was a very quick video. I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Um and uh just go from there yes yeah i think so i think that's it for the day it was kind of like a uneventful i mean besides me making the million dollar mark for taxes which i think is kind of awesome um besides me doing that and maybe adding a couple more residences like i said i really didn't do too too much you do you take a, you take a lot of time doing things you know little by little so it seems like i haven't done that much but i feel like i have um, and then with the money issue and the storage, it's just things. Hopefully I get something good. Give me something good. If you give me a seedling, it'll be great. Nope. I kind of need those, so that's cool. Um, and I got 433 sim cash. So if I wanted to splurge a little bit, I could totally buy what I need. I just want to save the sim cash for something good. <laughs> Particularly, to be honest with you, I really want this sim sign. I really do. I mean, this one right here will boost my population by 16,000. Look at that. But you need, how much is it again? How much is the Sim City? 700. Oh, it'll be forever before I get that. But look how cool that looks. It's like Harbor Hills 
we in this mug all right guys so i'm gonna go and end this part thank you so much for watching hopefully next week i will have unlocked tokyo like i said i probably will not um you can now send air deliveries to multiple destination in Irvine. okay yeah i knew that already but oh did i unlock tokyo how did i do that i thought you needed 260 in order to unlock tokyo what did i do what did I do? Somehow I unlocked Tokyo. Oh, I unlocked Tokyo. How did I do that? Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch the footage. How did I unlock Tokyo? Wow. Okay, well, there you go. I guess I was telling the truth. Somehow I just unlocked Tokyo. I have no idea what I did though. Um, maybe, maybe the Sim City gods had mercy on me. I don't know. Okay, so now you can build your own Tokyo town. Awesome. So Tokyo Town is right here. I just unlocked it. I have no idea how that happened. But you know what? The only thing is I don't have anything to build. But you know, just because I'm here, let's just go on and place. Where would I want to put it though? I want Tokyo Town to have its own little area. And so right now these are just regular residences. So this up here is Parisian. This is London. So I guess I can put a street. You know, but I feel like, okay, I'm gonna have to think about this. I feel like I want to put it right here and then let them share this fire station here. But I'm probably going to end up having to put more health and stuff. So as of right now, I have two Tokyos right here. Um, so I guess we'll, we'll see how that works out. But in the meanwhile, I am excited. I just unlocked Tokyo. <laughs> And I was just sitting there saying, I haven't done anything. And now I feel like I've done everything. So I'm going to queue up some things in order to have my first shipment to Tokyo. So I need two shovels and I need a, some concrete. So let's go ahead and queue that up. I think I have everything I need to do. I do. I just need one concrete. Wait, do I or don't I? Yep, I just need one extra concrete, two shovels, and I already got the... Um, so, yep, that is definitely what I'm going to do. So, hopefully next time you see me, I will not be upgrading Tokyo since I've already done that. But I will be have upgraded some of these towns, which is cool because I need this and I need the little cat, which I'll have the cat in a second. So, awesome, awesome, awesome. Yay! Oh, I'm excited. That is kind of cool. Uh, and then I'm getting a lot of sprout. Okay, so maybe, maybe me complaining about it. And I still have these I need to finish upgrading. I haven't even done these. And I could probably do this one now. Because I have the sweaters. I just need some metal. So let me go on and queue up some metal here. And I'll go on and collect all of these and queue up some more metal. And I think we're good to go. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. I don't even know what to say. I'm just kind of shocked. I feel like I'll have to go back and rewatch the video. I don't know if I click something. I still have the, the cash that I needed. So, I mean, the sim cash that I made. So I have no idea how I unlocked Hockey Tokyo. But apparently I did. So that, like I said, that's pretty awesome. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, if you want to add me as um, a neighbor, please do so. My um, game center ID is Domestic Goddess 4. There's a space between Domestic and Goddess. I'll put it in the info box. And yeah, so cool. I got new neighbors, Tokyo, new towns. Everything is just upgrading. I need to just figure out why I can't grab my speed up tokens. But if I have a cap but I can only do five, then, you know, I probably need to start using some up so I could at least get that stuff. But oh, look at this backdrop here. I love it with the, with the, um, can you imagine being in this building and looking out for your view and then you see the, um, the Ferris wheel and you see all the city lights. Oh, that's so pretty. All right, guys, I'm going for real. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. 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 Say bye bye. That's a lot of to say bye-bye. All right, we're going for real. You say bye? Say bye.